paranormal girl and today I'm in a wicked mood. I'm in a wicked mood so bad that I am in the mood to do some terrible things. Now stop right there. What are you thinking? I know what you're thinking. What is she going? You're thinking all these horrible things. No, I'm thinking pranks. Now this is a follow-up to my video where I tell you how to do nice things for Halloween. Now it's how I tell you how to make this Halloween a true trick for everybody. These are mostly going to be prank ideas for you guys of stuff to think about. Coming in with a not numbered order situation is going to be, uh, I'm just gonna say, be Michael Myers. Put on the mask with Halloween having come out, well, Halloween 2, I guess, to ignore this shirt because it's Ghouls for Peace, uh, trick or, trick or treat. Peace as in, I mean, love and war. Uh, so Michael Myers, so with that movie coming out, especially if somebody's like just seen the movie and they're coming home and they have like a closet in their room, put on the mask, maybe grab a, grab some type of like weapon, just chill there, maybe like make noises in the closet, and then scare them like that. Other types of pranks are basic spider pranks, uh, you can do more extreme pranks that involve injuries, not actual injuries, but like fake injuries. Fake blood is probably a good idea if you're going to be doing something wicked for Halloween. One thing that's just totally awful to do on Halloween if you are not going to be going trick-or-treating is scaring the pants off of trick-or-treaters. With your own makeshift Halloween... Halloween decoration. With your own makeshift Halloween... Makeshift. I ship it. With your own makeshift... My eye is super duper if with your own makeshift haunted house kind of thing. And it doesn't necessarily have to be that, it can be completely unexpected. Fun story is last year while I was trick-or-treating, I was trick-or-treating with a friend who had to leave early, and I was going through the rich neighborhood, which I referenced in the how to get the most candy possible. I was going up, it was the biggest house, and it has a really long driveway. And pretty much that one of the people with them put on like a Jason mask, and carried an actual axe with them. And first, they pretty much, they didn't greet you, but they were like there at the fence and they just followed you up, dragging the axe behind them, letting it clank. Cause it was like an individual brick, so it clanked. But they also had, I think it, it was a girl, I could, she talked to me actually. And she was hiding in the leaves, I think she was in a ghillie suit and she popped up. And that one actually, that one got me a little bit um, the, I, I handled the murderer next to me, murderer next to me pretty well, it was like, hi, how are you, like, are you enjoying your Halloween? That's one way to deal with, like, fear at, like, haunted houses and stuff, is like, oh, hi, like, how you doing, has Halloween been good for you? And if they don't say anything at all, one thing that, um, it didn't necessarily scare me, but the kid with the axe would sometimes, like, jump at me a little bit, and I'm like... At one point, I was like, there's witnesses, just as a fun thing. But as we were walking by, I had already seen the house, so I knew that two kids were hiding in costumes. And because I was doing that, like, I know what's going on, I'm like, so those two are going to jump out at me. They didn't end up jumping out at me because I knew that they were there, and it just would have been like, oh, there it is. And then, they even had the person giving out candy in on it, because they were like, oh, do you need your candy? So the person with the axe, and it was like, oh, whatever, okay. End of story, pretty much, that was interesting, because I had to walk up that alone. And then my dad honked the horn at him, and I was kind of like, it's all in the fun of Halloween. I was like, if you didn't stop following me, I could have done something. I had a heavy bucket of candy with me, wank. So back to my tips to scare people for Halloween, is the classic, hide on the other side of the door, maybe put on a mask and just be like, a boo. A boo to you. <laughs> Another trick is jelly beans. This is a fun trick where it's like, where maybe like if you're having a Halloween party, have some jelly beans. Put bean boozled in there. No jelly beans. Just be like, just like if somebody asks, it's like, yeah, they're just some jelly beans that I bought at like the dollar store and just. Um, 
Why does this taste like rotten milk? I told you it's dollar store jelly beans. What do you expect? When it's really bean boozled. Mm. Another fun prank would be that classic like hand in the candy bowl thing. Not like my dude who just goes like this, but like that like a bottomless kind of thing where it has candy in it, but you're like hands there and it like reaches up and grabs whoever's grabbing candy. That kind of thing, that's a fun trick to do if you have the bowl for it. If you had the bowl that you're just like, I don't need it. Cut. Another fun thing to do e I'm a cowboy, being a cowboy, in my natural habitat. Oh yeah. <laughs> Moving on from my awkward singing would be the next thing that you can do is this. If you know how to do this, it's it would be a good idea to do it in like public, I guess, where it's just like one of those the thing. I can't do it because I don't have the right thing on where it's like Ugh. If you know how to do that, that'd be a very interesting one. I've seen it pulled off with like a sneeze where it's like, ah, chew! And then you like catch your head. Like, oh no! But you got apparently gotta have like the right thing to like spring up and your head actually won't move. You just gotta go like this or this. So you just gotta like catch it. And <laughs> And a little thing, a little warning for public pranks is don't take it too far. Because there's always that classic bozo to clown which is walking by and popping balloons. Be careful with that because people can get seriously injured including yourself. Because if there's a clown who decides to pop a balloon that's like right behind me, it's a watch out. So, so be careful with that kind of stuff because you'd also like, don't do anything that could damage anything, uh, hurt anybody, cost anybody money, and be ready for various reactions if you are going to be doing any public pranks, because you can get a variety. You get people who are like, oh yeah, that's funny. You get people who are just kind of like, whatever. Then you get the people who are upset with you, and they're like, huh? Huh? You think that kind of stuff is funny? Huh? Kind of people, and then it's kind of, like, you gotta be ready to react to this stuff. And as the person who does the prank, you have to be kind of the person who's ready to, like, back down and say, like, I know, I know, it's, like, wrong. You can't, like, it, well, you can argue against them, but because you just, like, scared them with something, I don't think it's as good as an, I, eh, as good of an idea to do that. So, be careful in public pranks. Another idea. <sighs> I'm out of Breath on money and friendly hand. That was such a weird face. But another idea would be, um, because I've done some pranks personally. Those pranks consist of uh, accidentally making somebody think they ripped off my foot. Pretty much I made a makeshift mannequin of myself using Sheila, my mannequin head. I guess I have two of those actually. Um, not creepy at all, but um, pretty much I made it look like I was huddled up hiding somewhere and because I would do that normally, they went to pull me out by my leg and I would put a boot for the mannequin. They pulled off the boot and they thought they ripped off my foot. That was an interesting day. Another time, same person. Um, I had an accomplice wear a mask that was pretty realistic, especially from a distance, and we got them, like, dressed up, and pretty much we had them stand outside, there were, like, glass doors, just stand outside and, like, look in as I, like, pretended to freak out and tell them, like, there's somebody there, they followed me, uh, it almost worked, but because I had a girl do it, her hair was in a braid to hide it because the mask, like, didn't cover, but she got freaked out by her own reflection in the door and turned around showing off the fact that she was wearing a braid. So, not good for prank scariness. And then we gave them brownies, as in brownies. Not brownies, as in the delicious delectory treat. Brownies, as in an E, that is brown. So, that's how life works now. Aha! But that about concludes today's video. I know this is, I think it's been kind of fast paced, but those were just some ideas. Think of your own, if you can think of your own, comment down below. And slap that like button, I'm falling over. 
subscribe, hit the bell, and be well, and comment, comment down below again, I guess. And I'll see you in the next video, aka tomorrow. Goodbye!